Well, the winner of this year's Outstanding Achievement Award in Agriculture has been at the forefront of the beef industry. Using the latest technology, Joe Mayer has made steady improvement in a family operation in the Oklahoma Panhandle that goes back generations. It's sunrise on the Mayer Ranch in Guyman, Oklahoma. Oh yeah, I'm getting old and so I don't work nearly as hard as I used to. Yet Joe Mayer is already at his desk. I just work here. True. Uh, because Marianne and I's three kids are now on this. and So, yeah, they could fire me tomorrow and they might because I've been pooping off too much doing interviews instead of doing work. <laughs> but don't let his sense of humor fool you. You'll see a few white-faced cows out here. Those are my sons. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> A certified black Angus breeder, Mayer is as involved in the family's grain and cattle business as he ever was. Well, we've got a lot of better cattle to raise. Continuing a long family tradition of farming and ranching in the Oklahoma Panhandle that goes back generations. My great granddad came here in 1883. And I guess we're pretty dumb because we haven't left yet. We must like it, huh? on land that's seen its share of hard times. We have dry years quite often. I don't know, you've either got to be tough or stupid to stay. You know, back in the 30s, a lot of people, the Dust Bowl and all, left here and went to California, and, and most of them got rich, and we stayed here, and we're still here, but... <laughs> and it's that attitude of laughing in the face of adversity that's helped the mayors grow their diversified operation into one of the largest and most modern in the state. We decided years ago we was going to try to raise the very best cattle that we possibly could. And the theory is they don't eat anymore. As a matter of fact, the very best cattle will eat a little bit less. The very best cattle will hang on the rail, a carcass that uh, will grade prime or certified Angus beef. We'll receive a premium for that and the uh, consumer will certainly enjoy that steak. Okay, so a heifer comes in, you shut that door, she steps up in there. We AI everything. We buy as good a cleanup bulls as we can, can buy. Whoever you talk to, they've got the best cattle. I want to be able to prove I've got the best cattle. And the way you do that is by kill data and records. So we keep a lot of records and we, do all our cattle culling, all our heifer sorting and everything else based off those records and those genetics. We, we are into the, the genetic DNA testing, genomics a lot. We test every critter on the ranch every year. And Mayer says by using such advanced genetics, his Angus herd has made dramatic progress. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a kind of a detail guy, and I'm kind of a numbers guy. You can go look at a bull, you can go look at two bulls. They look pretty darn similar. Maybe one's a little shinier looking than the other one. That's wonderful. But what I want to know is what's the numbers on those two bulls, and then I'll tell you which one of them I want. But just as important as is agricultural production skills is Mayer's commitment to his family. Well, I've got a great wife. And I got really excited about Reagan, and so there I go, off all over the country giving speeches for Reagan and so on and so forth as an unpaid volunteer, and uh, left my wife here with three little kids to raise. And she wasn't that excited about that, but she did it. I mean, she, she has helped allow me to go run around and do things like that. And serve his community and his state on boards and task forces with the same dedication he feels for the land. Make the world a little better place uh, for you haven't been there. Try to build something, try to keep the family strong, try to help the community and, and help the state and, and uh, try to uh, leave the world a little better place. Girls, I don't have a thing for you. Now, in addition to Mayor's Outstanding Achievement Award, Leland Walker of Red Oak received the Outstanding Public Service Award in Agriculture for nearly four decades of teaching and mentoring ag instructors. 
Well, Mike Thrall, the longtime director of the Oklahoma Conservation Commission, and Dr. Bob Tadashek, a well-respected OSU animal scientist and beloved teacher, were both honored at the Capitol posthumously.